said I was in my early forties with a lot of life before me. When a moment came that stopped me on a dime, I spent most of the next days looking at the X-rays, talking about the options and talking about sweet time. Asked him when it sank in that this might really be the real end. How's it hit you when you get that kind of news? Man, what you do? And he said, I went skydiving, I went Rocky Mountain climbing, I went 2.7 seconds on a full name blue mansion. And he said, someday I hope you get the chance to live like you were All right, so this on the road vlog, diary, journal, confessional, I don't know, whatever the hell this is, but I can tell you right now that this camera right here thing that's going on, I can see myself and this is not a very forgiving lens. I'm just checking out my eyebrows here going, come on, Michelle, at least put on some eyebrows. And yeah, I'm reclining, but there's just not much space in here to recline. I can't sit up. It's not a luxury I have. And it's super windy outside. So it's day one, evening one, night one. I don't know. It's still light. But, you know. Anyway, I've got this Jimmy Neutron thing going with my hair right now. Yes. Jimmy Neutron. Anyway. I'm at Scootney Reservoir. It's super weird. I've camped by myself before, so I don't know what my problem is, but I'm feeling pretty lonely and small. <laughs> I think part of it is the place. There's not a ton of tree coverage. Um, there's some tree coverage, but lots of shrubs and it's pretty open. Um, and there are a lot of families and, uh, RVs. So like, and, and the, and the, uh, Spaces where there aren't RVs, there's like this giant tents. And here I am in my car. <laughs> Stuffing black shades in my windows, pretending to be stealthy. And man, I stick out. I think I need a RV or something to put my tent up. I don't know. Uh, I definitely feel like I stand out. Uh, I'm not going to do it, but... <sighs> I want to be honest that the urge to turn around and go home is so strong. Um, I don't really know too much what to say. I'm lonely. I'm a little wind burnt because it's really, really freaking windy here and very gray. Um, but it's beautiful, but it's definitely the kind of place where I wish I had people around me, you know, that I don't know, know me. I guess I could be really creepy and just walk up to some of these people's campsites. That'd be creepy. I've tried writing. I've tried reading. But after five, four or five hours on the road, I'm very tired. But I'm super, super proud of myself for making macaroni and cheese on my new camp stove. I even put peas in it, you know, vegetable, not cuisine. Um, every once in a while, I am able to receive a text message from Christopher, my mom. Uh, and that's nice, but whenever I try to text back, it comes back. So they're not getting mine. Um, that's it. Tomorrow, I'll probably leave here pretty early just because there's not much here for me as far as, you know, too many people. 
too many people in too open a space in big groups talking about walleye. I didn't catch a walleye, this guy. Many, many beers on the boat today. I didn't catch a walleye. So evidently there are a lot of walleye here and they just don't like him. Anywho. <laughs> anyway, I'm probably coming back later. But uh, right now I'm kind of blue. I don't know what to say. Oh, nah, nah. I'll formulate something. Say goodbye. Goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye, Gracie. Mwah.